just arrived at the cabin. Uh, been in New Hampshire for the last about three weeks now. And just before I left, I was here and I had noticed that I was having an ant problem again, like I do every year. And I was mixing up my ant poison, which I had made that video of. And I set it out, and I closed the door, and I've been gone for a few weeks. So now I'm here at the cabin again. I want to show you my findings. It's spot on to what I was talking about in my video. How it takes a little bit of time for the stuff to work, but it does work. I want to show you something. Hey, when I built the cabin, I have three inches of foam insulation over this. And I, I shouldn't have done it, but I just put up pine boards and I didn't shiplap the edge. And the ants get up there and they chew on that insulation and it falls down through the crack. And the first telltale sign is I will have a line of that powder on my countertop where it falls out of the crack, lands here on the countertop. I was seeing little bits of it here before I left. See the little tiny bit right there. So I made up the concoction that I showed in the video. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link here at the top for you. Now in the vid, I was saying how all of a sudden you'll start to see dead ants everywhere. Well, I've been gone for a few weeks. I opened the door and I'm looking around. I was happy to see there was no line of the insulation powder on the counter. So uh, I knew I had some success. And I'm looking at the floor here and I'll show you my findings. Hey, dead ants. Dead ants. I'll show you. I found some more over here. More dead ants. Hey, dead ants. A couple more dead ants there. Dead ants, dead ants. Little bits of them. Another one there, another one there, a bunch over there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. They start to spit the dead ones out of the colony, and before you know it, the whole colony is wiped out. I've experimented with all kinds of raised beds, all kinds of weed protection, all kinds of methods. I have not found anything better than the deep mulch method. Folks have asked if I'm referring to the Back to Eden style gardening, and I am to a sense, although I have not used wood chips, I have a lot of other things to use like old hay. Everything that I rake off the lawn goes over the garden. It's just amazing. I have little to no weeding to do. I haven't watered the garden at all this year. I've been away more than I've been home. I only put in a small garden this year because I'm going to be putting a place up for sale. I'm not exactly sure when. I didn't want to invest a lot of time in it. So I just put in a few plants. I've been away. I come home and it's just incredible. It's like a jungle here. I got to show you. Now this is one pumpkin plant. Three weeks ago I taped it. Just before I left for New Hampshire, it was this little plant, but it was growing quick. I come home three weeks later and just look at it. It's overtaken the Brussels sprouts and it's right in there with the tomatoes already. We put in one cucumber plant here, but it's doing great. I mean, look, look at the cucumbers, okay? Been picking them regularly. Down in here, there's another cucumber there. Another cucumber there. There's a lot of cucumbers. We had a little rain overnight, so it's doing well. But again, see, that's just laying on this mulch here. A dandelion and a little bit of grass popping in here. But you see how easy that popped up? You know, look at that. You know, it's just right by the roots. Everything comes up really easy. Look at, look, look at that. Now, is that easy? It's several inches of deep mulch here and the soil beneath it. I mean, look how soft that was. There's no, you scrape the top away. Look how soft the soil is. 
everything is breaking down really nice some old tree bark and whatever you see no need to till anything I mean isn't that amazing how nice and moist and soft the soil stays for all those years that I gardened traditionally if we didn't get a lot of rain the soil would get hard and dry and cakey this is just amazing and the roots just flourish and I love it because I don't even have to till it. All the stuff that I put on top breaks down, nourishes the soil, keeps it moist, it's full of worms. I can't say enough good things about the deep mulch gardening. Now the broccoli plants, these have all been harvested already. We're down to all the secondary shoots. Been picking it several times. But every one of the plants supported a huge picture-perfect head of broccoli. Very impressive. It was the best harvest I've ever had with nice broccoli. Nice broccoli right there. They're planted in the mulch. As you can see, it's not overtaken with weeds. It's effortless. <laughs> Again, a cucumber plant. Look at the cucumbers on it. Now, the tomato plants have just gone crazy. They look really good, good color to them. Now look at all the tomatoes on this plant. This is a type of plum tomato. Look at them all. There's just tomatoes everywhere. Lots and lots of tomatoes. And in the back is another variety. It just The plant is laden with tomatoes. It's fallen right over with tomatoes as far back as you can see. And just tomatoes everywhere you look. Just look at the tomatoes. Now none of these plants are staked up. They're just crawling on the ground. Now that's the beauty of the mulch. Um, the tomatoes just sprawl on top. They don't get muddy. They don't start to rot because the top layer of the mulch is nice and dry. But if you dig down in, it's really moist down in there. It's just a fantastic method of gardening. Then you lift up the tomato leaves and the pumpkin plant is infringing on it. There's a pumpkin there, another pumpkin there, one behind it. There's a pumpkin there, another pumpkin there. Just amazing. The most enjoyable part about gardening is the planting and the harvesting. The rest of it I could do without. And doing the deep mulch method allows me to have that luxury where I put the garden in, I've got the excitement and the anticipation going on there. I don't water it, I don't weed it, I don't put fertilizer in it, I don't do anything. I haven't even been home and I come home and the few plants that I put in, it's like a jungle. They're crazy. It's just fantastic. I have a 74 inch wide tiller for the back of my tractor. I haven't used it now in a few years. I'm probably gonna put it up for sale because I just don't need it. I don't till the soil anymore. I don't fertilize it because everything that I put on the garden last year breaks down, fertilizes the soil. It keeps the soil nice and soft, nice and moist, never water it. It's just amazing. If you haven't tried the deep mulch method, I highly recommend it. If you're skeptical, just do a quarter or half of your garden, cover it over with leaves, bark, wood chips, pretty much whatever you can find. It is just amazing. I really suggest you give it a try. Look at him. <laughs> you guys miss a lot of his antics. And I can't keep a camera on him 24-7. I look down and he's got that chickamunker on his face like that. <laughs> he's a good companion. A lot of laughs with him around. He's nose to nose with the chickamunker. <laughs>